In this video, we're going to discuss some of the basic elements of a routine oral exam. Regular dental exams are an important part of your horse's routine veterinary care. Um, dental concerns can be quite obvious in, and manifest as horses dropping feed, um, losing weight, um, having a foul odor or a nasal discharge, but can also be quite subtle and can manifest as problems in the bridle or um, resistance in their work, or in some cases, they show us no signs at all, even though they have significant issues going on in their mouth. When you bring your horse in for a dental exam, we'll start by asking you questions about how they are behaving in the bridle, how their weight has been, how they are chewing, um, and so on. After that, we move on to a brief physical exam to make sure that they're, they're healthy enough for the, the sedation and the remainder of the dental exam. We start with an external exam and look at the horse's general symmetry of their head, if there's any nasal discharge, and so on. We palpate their temporomandibular joints and look for symmetry in the face. Um, and then we'll also look at the... Uh, the um, structures of the lips and the gums and whatnot if they'll let us. We feel that sedation is a very important part of a thorough dental exam. The horse's mouth is quite large, the teeth go a long way back and they can't open their mouth up very wide. Um, and a lot of horses are quite uncooperative when it comes to having their mouth examined unsedated. Uh, although if we take a brief glimpse in without sedation we may be able to see some aspects, uh, we miss a lot and a lot of sub subtle issues that can be quite significant to your horse. Um, we just can't see unless they are thoroughly sedated. We can open them up with good lighting and have a really close look. Once we have the horse sedated, uh, we look more closely at their all of their teeth really, their incisors, their canines if they are a male, um, and, and the gums and the, the soft tissue structures we have a better look at. We look at how the jaw is functioning, how it is moving in a side to side and a forward and back direction. And then we place a speculum onto their mouth which will hold their mouth open and allow us to work safely in their mouth without, um, without damaging ourselves or them as well. Um, once we have the speculum, speculum in place and we have their mouth open, we'll look closely at the, the cheek teeth the molars and premolars. Um, we're looking for sharp points, overgrowth such as hooks or ramps or steps. We're looking at the, the quality of all the structures of the teeth and as well the gums to see if there's any abnormal feed packing um, or areas that can point us to another problem within the mouth. In the course of the exam, we'll also put our hands in the mouth to feel all of the teeth, assess for mo mobility of any of the teeth, and and for sharp points and, and focal overgrowths. Um, we'll also use a mirror or a dental endoscope or camera to look at the fine details of the, the teeth and the oral structures um, and be able to identify very subtle changes or areas that of concern within the mouth. The horse's upper jaw is wider than its lower jaw, and so that can um, have an effect on where we find sharp points. So if I open this up, you can see how they are wider on the top than they are on the bottom and how that could ha cause sharp points to form on the out outer surface of the upper teeth and the inner surface of the lower teeth. The horse's conformation of their mouth can, can lead to some dental abnormalities. Um, some common ones are what we call hooks, which are an overgrowth at the front of the, the first cheek teeth here. Um, and sometimes that is matched with an overgrowth or a ramp at the back on the last cheek tooth. We also look for, for overgrowth of particular teeth, um, which we call steps, um, that can cause the jaw to lock and they cannot grind across the surface of their teeth properly and it can interfere with how they chew. In this guy, you can see that there was a severe overgrowth of these two upper cheek teeth actually caused by a malformation of this lower one. And this, this uh, malformation was so severe that that overgrowth started to impact on the lower jaw and caused a deformity in the bone there. Um, this would have been quite painful for the horse. Uh, this, this horse we know had no dental care through his life. This was actually a, a wild horse, a feral horse. Um, and so we speculate that this actually contributed to him dying at an earlier age than otherwise he might have attained. There's a lot of tooth that we can't see that is very deep within the gum, gums, the reserve crown we call it, that we just can't see in an oral exam, um, but can um, be diseased or infected as well, and we need to identify that, and to do that, that's when our x-rays are very helpful. 
Not all horses jump big jumps or do sliding stops or PF or work cows, but they all have teeth and they all need them to be working properly and comfortably in order to maintain their health. Regular thorough oral exams are important to uh, extend your horse's longevity and keep them comfortable whether they're young or old, competing or retired.